ओके अभी एक क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी फ्रॉम एच सी वर्मा फाइंड द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन द पॉइंट्स ए एंड बी एंड बिटवीन द पॉइंट्स बी एंड सी ऑफ फिगर इन स्टडी स्टेट स्टडी स्टेट यहाँ पे मीनिंग क्या होगा मीन्स ऑल द कैपेसिटर्स आर फुली चार्ज स्टडी स्टेट मीन्स ऑल कैपेसिटर्स आर फुली चार्ज ओके then that means no current can flow from here no current can flow from here no current can flow anywhere that means there is no current in the circuit there is no current in the circuit right so we just have a simple capacitor circuit now we can just ignore these resistors over here we don't need them because the current is not flowing so the resistors are not important so i'll just remove the resistors and redraw the circuit and observe how i redraw the circuit so this is the 100 volt battery okay this is the 100 volt battery correct and from a this one microfarad is directly connected between a and c so i can connect the one microfarad directly over here this is the one microfarad capacitor okay so this is the one microfarad capacitor now from a i have uh this three microfarad capacitor and this three microfarad capacitor see the three microfarad have their ends connected to each other so these two are in parallel okay so we can just connect them over here now so this is a 3 microfarad capacitor okay then i have another 3 microfarad capacitor so this is 3 this is 3 okay and then i get my point b i have reached my point b again 1 and 1 these two are again in parallel to each other so again i can draw over here okay and then i have again one more one microfarad capacitor so one microfarad and one microfarad correct so this is my circuit now completed okay and like you can see i have removed the resistors because it's in steady state so the resistors are of no use there is no current flowing anywhere okay so now we just have to calculate the charge on the capacitors and find the potential difference okay so this is the point a this is the point sorry c right now let's combine the three microfarad capacitors these two are in parallel so you combine them and you get six microfarad capacitor so i replace this with a six microfarad capacitor similarly these two will combine to give you two microfarad capacitor okay so here i got two microfarad capacitor correct now these two are in series so both of them should have same charge okay both of them should have same charge so this is charge q this is also having charge q plus minus plus minus okay right so this is your charge distribution so if we know the value of q we can find the potential uh, difference between b and a and b and c easily now so let's find q so over here i have potential difference of 100 volt then minus q by 6 minus q by 2 equal to c so 100 volt is basically q by 6 pl uh, plus q by 2 right potential difference here is how much q by 6 plus q by 2 that is equal to 100 volt so we obtain q is equal to 150 micro coulombs okay now they are asking the potential difference between a and b so this point and this point have same potential so potential difference here will be equal to potential difference between a and b so i can write down v ab will be simple q by 6 okay q by 6 so that is equal to 25 volt you put q equal to 160 microfarad this is uh, sorry micro coulomb and so this is 6 microfarad you obtain 25 volt similarly when we talk about b and c so between b and c potential difference will be equal to between these two points okay this is same potential line right so potential difference here will be potential difference between b and c and that is q by 2 volt correct so v bc will be q by 
since q is 150 we get 75 volt that's it okay